Hello everyone and I have one more very interactive chess game to show you. In this chess game we have Joseph Henry Blackburn with the white pieces and his opponent is a chess player, an unknown chess player named Leverson. So this chess game was played in 1885 in London, England. So this was a casual game and Blackburn was one of the leading chess players in the 19th century of chess and one of the most amazing attacking chess players of all times. So Blackburn starts the game with e4, we have e5, knight to f3 and the Italian game and we have the typical opening of the romantic era of chess, the Evans Gambit. So d4 and white has pretty strong center but white sacrificed a pawn, so pluses and minuses. Bishop goes back and developing the knight, knight to a5 and not defending the bishop but attacking the queen, we have defending and blocking. Well, not a f6 because a, after bishop to d2, okay, okay capturing the bishop but we have check forking king and the knight. So most definitely in this position it doesn't matter if black captures the bishop because there is queen to a4 check and reclaiming the piece. So knight to e7 defending the queen. But then knight gets in and this is getting dangerous. Most definitely black needs to defend because there is big pressure on the knight. So pushing the pawn it looks like a natural move but this also weakens the light squares potentially. Joseph Henry Blackburn most definitely it looks like he needs to defend one of these pieces maybe dark square bishop of course as uh, we can of course check after knight takes bishop but in this position joseph henry blackburn sacrificed the bishop bishop takes on f6 incredible stuff so what else also attacking the knight and it is pinned so capturing check and all of the sudden uh, actually we can say that the king is not looking safe so king to f8 is the only move and the second knight is getting into the action and sacrificing the second bishop so knight takes on c4 and then blackburn played queen to f3 lining the queen with the king and in this position black has to be careful and black also needs to find the most accurate defense in this position which black couldn't find the most accurate defense and he played knight to d2 and it was a tempting move for an amateur chess player. This is forking to king and to rook. But what was the best move in this position? The best, uh, the most solid defensive move? Well, it is difficult to find but actually knight to f5 was the strongest move in this position. And actually black is better. So white sacrificed two pieces of course. Uh, so black is doing okay. Uh, and also, uh, according to the notes of Joseph Henry Blackburn, they analyzed this chess game with Wilhelm Steinitz and someone named Professor White. And after they analyzed this position, they found that knight to f5 gives black the better game. And after many years later, when we have the technology, uh, the chess modern chess engines also says that knight to f5 uh, is the best defense, surprisingly. So they were right in 1885. Okay, so let's take it back. In this position, knight to d2 was a big mistake and this move is losing. Can you see why? Okay, this is forking queen and the rook, but white has discovered check, double check. And we have king to e8. Not king to g8 because of getting checkmated. Or king to g7, then that's not good. Check, checkmate. So there is no other option, of course. This is check uh, with two times. So king moves, check, only move, check, only move. And it is white to move. Not every move is winning for white. So you have to be pinpoint accurate. Uh, if I give you a few seconds, can you guess the not so easy move for white that wins the game on the spot? Actually, that's a very strong move. Uh, because uh, I will give you a little tip. But before giving that tip, let me give you three seconds to pause the video. If you want, you can pause the video and try to guess the next move of Joseph Henry Blackburn, which he didn't miss the best move in this position. Okay, so uh, you have to cut off the king from the B file because if king can reaches the B file, actually he's surviving miraculously. So Blackburn understood this and he played rook from A to B1. Not so easy move to find and also not rocket science, of course. There are so much more difficult moves to find in chess, of course. But 
is sacrificing the exchange for deflecting the knight so that he can attack the king with the queen. And black also understood this, but uh, he is losing. Bishop takes on d4. Well, uh, this move doesn't work, for example. Then black is escaping, as you can see, and uh, it doesn't look very good. And surprisingly, the king is safe. But in this position, it is not safe. And if knight takes rook, then we have check, and then check. And black is getting checkmated by force. There is no defense. Incredible. So rook from A to B1, and what a beautiful move by Joseph Henry Blackburn. The Black Dead of Chess, that was his nickname. So bishop takes on D4, rook check, only defense, and then uh, in this position Blackburn sacrificed his queen. What a move, what an incredible move by Joseph Henry Blackburn. And black is getting checkmated, checkmate. So this was the final moment of this chess game. Bishop takes, rook check, and then bishop blocks, and it looks like black is just a black is going to survive, but white has this fantastic move. Queen to d5, knight takes, pawn takes, check, mate. Okay, so I hope you have enjoyed <laughs> this fantastic chess game, and uh, I hope to see you again with more interactive, unbelievable chess games like this one. Stay safe, take care, and bye bye.